Hi everybody, now in today's video, I'm going to be discussing four harsh truths, okay, of what women are actually attracted to. And the reason why I'm making this video is because oftentimes the guys that I see who are coming into this channel, they genuinely have a desire to self-improve, right? Like they genuinely want to level up their dating game. They genuinely want to make more money. They genuinely want to have a better dating life. But the thing that I've noticed time and time again is that a lot of times guys don't actually know what makes them attractive. Like, it, it, it's really funny. Like, girls oftentimes, the women that they date, right, they know exactly what to do to be seductive or they know exactly what to do in order to take the right sort of photos, the right angles, everything that really makes a, a guy interested. But when it comes to the reverse of that... Guys oftentimes don't know these four harsh truths that I'm about to tell you that women are actually attracted to. And these are a bit unconventional, okay? These truths are going to be far more rooted in who you are and what type of man you are versus just how to say the perfect line versus how to say the right thing versus how to just approach the right way. This is deep rooted in who you are. So this is going to make sense as I go through each of these one by one. I have some notes on my phone and let's just go through each of them. The first is that women love a man on his grind. You have to understand this at the deepest level. Most guys spend their time in all the wrong spots. Like a man on his grind, you have no time for Snapchat and Snapchat streaks, right? You have no time to gaze at all of the models on Instagram and double tap. A man on his grind has no time to go on to Instagram and start direct messaging all of these random girls that he's hoping just to get a date with. Now, the reason why women love a man on his grind is because she feels safe and she feels secure when she sees that you're going places. If you're on your, you, you have to think about this from evolutionary, from biological times for just a second. Like, actually stick with me here because this will make sense. If you're the type of guy who plays a lot of video games, if you're the type of guy who wastes a lot of time, if you sit back and you think you can just eat Cheetos and drink beer and not worry about your financial situation and it doesn't matter who you are because the girls should just like you for you, you have to just understand how ass backwards this is. I don't care if this affects because I think the biggest thing I have to protect is like my ability to say what I want and I think that that's big and I'm going to just deliver you the truth. If you think that you don't have to get on your grind and you shouldn't have to do a damn thing and you should still just be able to get and attract whoever you want, you have to understand how backwards this is because on a biological level, a woman wants a guy who can protect and provide for her potential future offspring, especially if you guys are going to be intimate and especially if you're into this woman intimately, okay? A woman knows that in order to protect and provide, it takes one thing and it starts with a T. Can you guess? That word is time. It takes time to have something for yourself. It takes time to have provisioning power. It takes time to build wealth. It takes time to build a great business. It takes time to be a strong individual. These self-improvement things that I'm showing you take time. That's why when you're on your grind and she sees that you are not necessarily just willing to give your attention away to these frivolous things that keep you distracted, you have to understand just how attractive that is. She knows he's going somewhere. She instantly starts to feel safe and starts to feel secure with him. This is the first. For those of you guys who want better intimacy, you want a better quality connection with the women that you're dating, and on top of that, you want the S3X to be a bit more desirable desirable, you're going to have to do these things. The second that you actually get on your grind and you do these things, you are going to have the type of desire that you've always wanted out of women. The truth though is most guys don't want to put in the work. I cannot help a man who is not ambitious. I cannot help a man who is not motivated. You have to intrinsically want a better financial situation for yourself. You have to desire to work more, which brings me in to point number two. Women feel most secure when a guy is financially stable. Okay. Just for a second, I need you to understand this. I want you to make one pledge to me. I want you to pledge to me that not only you believe it's your duty to become financially free, and I want you to write, I pledge, right below this video. I want you to actually comment that, put, I pledge to become financially free. I want you to go and type that right now in the comment section. That's number one. But number two, I do not want you to ever think that just because somebody says provisioning equals beta or you've watched one too many mano whatever videos it because you've done these things you have this preconceived notion that if you have money as a man that's going to just make the woman like 
view you as just a, a person to use, okay? I do not want you to ever think that again. And the reason being is because you have to have your own learned experiences. When you're a man who's financially stable, you will command far better attraction from women because once again, the provisioning power that you have is extremely attractive. The higher up your success gets, you have to understand that that makes you more and more and more desirable. I have actually been so focused on business and some of the successes and accolades that I've had over the years. I've had women who, when they come into my life or when I'm dating them, they'll say things like, you make me feel like I have to be on my best behavior on guard at all times. And I look at them and I go, in, in what what way, what way what is anything that I've done that, that has caused you to think that I haven't said anything to demonstrate that? Nothing. But just the fact of my life set up, just the way I have my house, just the way I have, like all of the, the resources of the things that I've done, the types of vacations that I go on, the type of things that I do, women take note of that. And when girls take note of that, they instantly want to be a part of that lifestyle. Now, for those of you who are not on your grind yet, for those of you who have not quit your nine to five yet, for those of you who are still wondering how to build your own brand yet, this is the time where you take over the last half of 2022 and you hop inside to the Freedom Academy. Down below, I have a link to the Freedom Academy. Yesterday, we have a dude inside of this. Okay, dude comes in. He literally closed a $1,500 sale yesterday. Dude had a $1,500 day in his personal brand. He has only been inside of the Freedom Academy for about a month, month and a half max. The dude made half of what most people make in a month in a day. And when I see a transformative shift that happens like that, it leads me to believe that not only have I up-leveled my own financial circumstances to doing multiple millions of dollars in business, but when I see a guy do that, I know that he's headed on the right track. And I know deep down that he wants to actually have the freedom that he wants deep down. And when I watch, like, I, I get more excitement out of watching a guy like that make money far more than I do than me having a big day in business. Like I can have a huge day, multiple thousands of dollars made. When I see a guy like that make his first couple of sales, I get the feeling inside that it actually is providing impact and it's actually changing people's lives. So you need to check into that. You need to get into that Freedom Academy because it is the best spot on planet Earth to go from zero to your own personal brand with financial freedom that lasts a lifetime. And that is my entire goal with that. Being financially free shows that you can provide to a woman and when you can provide, you get a higher level of desire. I have seen this firsthand. You have to understand this. The third, guys, her arousal and desire comes from your words, not necessarily just the things that you're doing or the physicalities. Men oftentimes do not place a strong enough importance on their own seduction or their own sex appeal. And the reason why is because they start to think that they can just float by on the materialistic things alone. They start to think that they can float by of just if you hit the gym and if you look right and if you appear strong and masculine, then all of a sudden you don't have to put the work in on your charisma. You don't have to put the work, right work in to work your words the proper way. They think that they don't have to do these things, but it's very false. Her arousal and desire will only come from your words when you know how to make her feel like a genuine woman and when it feels like you guys have a genuine connection. What this means is I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. There's been times where I've been talking with a woman or I've been out on a date and we came back to my house. There's been like zero intimacy or zero touching yet. So I'm not very turned on, but she has verbatim said, you know, how aroused she is or how like in the, like you, I'm sure you guys can start to get the mental imagery without me being too graphic. But the thing is, is just by having conversation, just by using the right tonality, just by having the right charisma, just be just by being on your own seduction and on your own game, you have to understand how attractive that is to a woman. When you have the ultimate confidence, it will show a woman that you have competency in other areas in life. And the competency that other areas in life that you have should be breeding the confidence for you to carry yourself the right way that you want on a date. You need to think about this for a second. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to imagine for a second that you're a millionaire and not only are you a millionaire, but you get to wake up whenever you want. You live life on your own terms. And with that said, you literally take answers from you. You you take demands from nobody like you are completely free. You're a free man. You make your own money. You do your own thing. You live life on your own terms. I want you to imagine just for a second how attractive that is to a woman deep down. 
I want you to imagine just for a second how your life would be if you did not have to wake up and you didn't have to go check in with your boss and you got to do whatever you want. And then all of a sudden you're making the type of money that you want. Don't you think your confidence would improve? Don't you think that who you are and as you've up leveled will change? The answer is 100% yes. When a woman sees these things, she gets extremely attracted to it. All of a sudden your words sound different. The charisma you have when you look a woman in the eyes is different. The way you hold confidence, and not even that, what I've noticed is it's, it's it, truthfully what it comes down to is your outcome independence of no longer needing to try or try hard is exactly what gets them hooked. Before when you're a guy and you don't have a whole lot of anything going for yourself, here's what happens. Your vocal tonality rises you're quicker to break the silence if all of a sudden there's a, a brief bit of no communication. You're quicker to be pleasing. You have uptone where you're like, ah, oh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Your, your voice is cracking and you're, you're, you're talking at a quicker pace to hold their attention. When you, are, when you are confident and when you're successful, when you've actually made yourself a man of value, you can completely sit back and chill, not try. Only put about half the work in that you were before. And you're going to notice you get five times the results. But that's because you've made yourself in to somebody different. You have to understand how deep this goes. The fourth, the fourth uncomfortable truth is that deep down, she never wants to be your first priority. Some of you aren't going to like that. Some of you who have had girlfriends where you're constantly checking in on text message every single two to three minutes to make sure that she knows what you're doing or where you're at. This is going to be the quickest way to kill desire. When you look like you have nothing going on, it looks like you're low value. It looks like you're low status. Okay. I'm a businessman. I've been a businessman my whole life. So the thing is, is like when, when focusing on business, maybe I'm writing a new pitch. Maybe I'm writing a new offer. Maybe I'm talking with my team. I don't have time to sit and talk to a girl all day, even if she is a high value woman. And even if she is a significant of importance in my life, we're going to have a great relationship and a great interaction, but I have other stuff going on throughout the day that requires 100% of my focus to get to where I am. So when you operate on that wavelength and when you operate on that playing field, you fundamentally become different. I will go three hours without a text or call. I will go six hours. I will go eight hours sometimes. I have to keep on my grind. That keeping on my grind not only gives me the confidence because my financial situation is going up, but all of a sudden she sees I'm going places. She wants to lock me down and make sure that the commitment from me is even more powerful. You have to start to actually realize the, vo the value that you possess as a man too. And if you do these things, you will get ahead. Rest assured. Guys, I hope you like this video. I hope that these truths we're not so uncomfortable that you can't take them. I hope that you're willing to listen to these things and actually like ingrain them into who you are and start to level up your own situation. If you like this video, hit the like button. Check out the Freedom Academy and a couple of the other links that I have below because I've been committed like for years now to making seriously the best products for you guys to get ahead as an individual. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.